My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a gorgeous 1956 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop right here. We just acquired three cars from the estate of a very well-respected local car collector. We've got this one here as a fantastic example. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs, look at all the pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, if you enjoy the videos, and if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as new videos are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this 56 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, we're in a metal roof building, and it's raining, so that extra noise you hear, that's what that is. Uh, but anyway, uh, just this morning before I came in here, I knew I'd be videoing the three cars from uh, that car collector. I just Googled him. More stuff comes up about him than it does me about collector cars. Uh, he owns J&P Plating. They do show quality chrome for classic cars. He's been a collector for decades. I found stories going back when he was a young man uh, with collector cars. Uh, but anyway, this is one of his. It's a premium example. Underneath the car is really nice. It looks like it may have been off the frame. <coughs> the floors are completely dry, clean metal. It's painted in the red oxide primer, just like factory would have done. The chassis is black. The front end com components don't look brand new, but you can see the ball joints, the shocks, the springs, all of it looks really nice. Everything looks proper. Bottom of the motor is clean. It has the correct canister screw on oil filter. It's actually a manual three-speed transmission with the electric overdrive. And it's got a 355 rear end in the back. The original rear end is stamped AB. That's for a 355. So kind of a little performance car. It's got the four barrel power pack motor too. Uh, getting back to the underside, uh, it's got the fuel tank and straps were replaced. And it's got dual exhaust with glass pack mufflers. But again, really clean metal under the car. Clean metal on the car too. The body is sweet. And of course, he owned a chrome plating company, so I don't need to tell you how nice all the chrome is. It's beautiful. There's a little chip right here in the paint, right at the edge. Everything fits nice. This is all nice body. This thing is smooth. It even feels slick to the touch. All metal. One scratch right there. It's a solid color. If you go to a body shop, mix up a little touch-up paint to get the color right, you'll touch that up and no one will see it. But again, the body is dry and straight. The doors, it's all smooth. No bubbles. I don't see any cracking. Even the black is like glass. This car is a genuine Bel Air V8 two-door hardtop. These are the original colors, crocus yellow and onyx black. I've always liked this color combination. It's striking. It's beautiful. Uh, so again, back here, beautiful chrome. It has blue dot tail lights. And a lot of you probably enjoy seeing that. That's where the gas cap is. I sold a 56 Chevy once, and the guy called me. He was embarrassed. He was at a gas station and could not find where to put fuel in the car. Yeah, this paint is even slick to the touch. Really nice. All the stainless as well. Uh, rear window looks new. It's crystal clear. Even inside the window, everything's nice. The rubber gasket's soft. All of this stainless, everything's beautiful all the way around. The flippers work, they work real well. Has the door handle guards, has the stone shields, of course, white wall tires. The hubcaps are mint, the rims are painted to match the car. Windshield looks new. Painted nice and clean, firewalls yellow, all this is gloss black. Uh, the motor is all stock. It has the Chevrolet script valve covers, the correct air cleaner. Uh, the power pack motor was the four barrel, a uh, little bit different heads and dual exhaust system. GM uh, radiator hose with clamps. Uh, does have factory power steering. Uh, the trim tag is right here. Original antenna is in real nice shape. 
Door jams are real nice. The rubber is soft. The flipper works on this side too. The interior is really nice. The cushions are nice and firm. It's got the two-tone correct upholstery with the chrome piping on the seats. Trunk compartment's real nice. Oh, here's the microphone. Uh, he liked to go to car shows, so he has some nice display boards. Uh, this one here just talks about uh, cost of living in 1956. Uh, average yearly income was $4,400. Uh, average rent was $80 a month. Gasoline was 22 cents a gallon. There's slight fading or discoloration on the yellow, or maybe someone scrubbed it too much. Just very minor. Uh, it still looks beautiful, not of, of a concern. The dash and the metal is painted just as slick as the outside. It's a pristine dash. All the trim, the lenses, the knobs look like they're redone. There's a retro stereo fit right into the dash. And same thing in here. Power steering hoses look new. All the components are painted real nice. It's got electric wipers, disconnect on the battery. So beautiful motor compartment, the horns, the wiring, everything looks really sharp. Now I'm going to guess the glass is all new in this car. Rolls real nice. Yeah, it's a tinted glass. The frames around the windows have been replaced. It's tidy. The kick panels are nice. The heater box is painted. The pad that goes on the firewall looks new. So it's just a nice car. The correct, really tight loop uh, carpet. Uh, the spare uh, still has a sticker on it. The rim is painted. The jack assembly is not there. It has the base for the jack, but doesn't have the actual jack. Of course, it's all painted nice. It has a nice rubber mat. The VIN number does not look like it's ever been tampered with. Fire it up for you. Headliner and visors are excellent. Dome light works. Nice sound and glass packs. Just a good quality car. Coming from the man that owned it, I feel very confident this will be an excellent car for the next owner, no surprises. Forgot to turn the lights on. Like I was saying, this was a very well-respected collector. This was his personal car. This was his passion. So I am sure it is dialed in. I'm sure you'll get in and drive it and enjoy it and not have problems. Uh, it's not a problem car. I'm confident in that. Anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you can find plenty of ways to contact us. Let us know whatever questions uh, you have about the car. This was just my impression of the car. If you want to know more specifics, please ask. Uh, we can help with financing, shipping. Just go to volocars.com and plenty of ways to contact us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, collect, click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.